this is the map of Eretz Yisrael, and what you see in, within this green line is the so-called West Bank, but actually this is Yehuda and Shamron, are also known as Samaria and Judea in uh, English. This is the cradle of Jewish civilization, the land where the Jews first began. In fact, when Abraham, our father, first came into the land for the first time, he stopped right where the end of that arrow is. And God spoke to him for the first time and said, to your descendants, I will give this land. A few years later, in the city of Hebron, God reiterated that promise, but turned it into an everlasting binding covenant, saying, saying again, to your descendants, I will give this land. And every circumcision, the covenant of circumcision, which is called Brit Milah in Hebrew, that is practiced among all Jews is in recognition that one day that we return to this land and that God will fulfill the promise. And our beloved God has fulfilled his promise by bringing us. And now today, we have, as the prophet said, God would rebuild us again as at first. Well, we have ancient cities that we read about in the Torah and the Tanakh, like Bet El, Shiloh, Ophrah, uh, Kirit, Arba, Sekoa, and many others, now they are re-emerging these ancient communities on the same location as their ancient counterparts. Even many of them are taking on the same characteristics as their ancient counterpart as proof that the word of God through Jeremiah said, in which God said, I return the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel, and I will rebuild you again as at first. So just as at first now, and in those days when Abraham settled, other inhabitants were there in the land that troubled him, but nevertheless, he settled, settled there, and the Hebrew nation grew up among people that hated them, and they ended up becoming a flourishing kingdom under King David and King Solomon. And uh, today, you know, we're back in our land. You know, we, we have one Israel. There's 22 Arab countries, or 21. They want to create a 22nd right here and basically annul the covenant that God made with Abraham. Can't happen, but nevertheless, um, we're here to keep our land and to stand up for what is we believe in, and that is we believe in what God promised us. Thank you very much. According to present-day international law, this land here, which is the so-called West Bank, actually belongs to the Jewish people. The Mandate for Palestine of 1922 um, was ratified by the League of Nations and fully adopted by the present-day UN. And in it, it specifically recognizes this, it says, whereas recognition has thereby been given to the historical connection of the Jewish people with Palestine and to the grounds for reconstituting their national home in that country. So here it goes. They recognize that there was once a Jewish nation and that they have a right to reconstitute that Jewish nation. And where was that Jewish nation? We know it was centered in uh, Yehuda and Shamron, which is the cradle of Jewish civilization. And this, in East Jerusalem, which was then Jerusalem, was its capital. So according to international law, this land belongs to the Jewish people. And the whole idea of a partition plan came about because in pre-state years, in the early 20s and even before, there was persecution against the Jews by the Arabs. They began to persecute them. So the Britain didn't know what to do, so they said, the only, re the only way that we can solve the problem is divide up the land. And so as a consequence, we were delayed in getting ourselves a nation. Uh, and as a consequence, when World War II broke out, we had no homeland to flee, flee to. Therefore, it was the Arab violence against us in pre-state years that hindered us getting a state, which contributed to the monumental death toll of the Holocaust. And it's not right that if the people, of those Jewish people of blessed memory that perished the Holocaust, didn't get to settle in their land, that that land should be given to those who contributed uh, to their um, demise by preventing a Jewish state being established when it was promised back in 1922. And uh, anybody, we're here now. And there was a commission in Britain and decided what should we do. So they did a commission during that year. And during that year, violence was throughout all of Yehuda and Shamar against the Jews and all over Israel and everything. And they said then they concluded that because of that violence, they should partition the land. And that was basically sealed the fate that there would be no homeland. In 36, and that the partition plan, and then in 37, they, they announced the plan. And in 39, um, Britain came out with the famous white paper. Now, the, the, the Balfour Declaration specifically said in 1917 um, um, that the Jewish people uh, could, uh, His Majesty's government used with favor the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. Here it was now. The white paper, May 17th, 1939, and it said, 
His Majesty government now unequivocally no longer has it part of their um, desire that there should be a homeland, a Jewish homeland in Palestine. But that's so not a legal paper. That's not a legal it, it, but it was, Britain was mandated according to international law to give us the land. So they, that statement was an outright violation of international law. So they didn't give us the land. That came out in 36. No, the, 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 the white, white paper, paper. The white paper was no, May 17th, 1939. Three and a half months later, World War Two broke out. Within seven months of the publication of the white paper by the British, there was food rationing through all Britain because of famine. And without, within 14 months of the publishing of the white paper, in which Britain said, or the Jewish people will not have a land, the Battle of Britain began in Germany was carpet bombing London. And the British people now were fighting for all their heart to keep their land from being taken away from them. The people whom they said can't have a land, now Britain was fighting to keep their land. And I view, personally, is my opinion, that that's a measure for measure, you know. And, um, Rukashem, we have our land now.